It's all you, man. Hey, Luna. Hi. Uh, is that Amen? Yeah. Yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Lana. How are you? Good, thanks. <laughs> okay, first of all, am I pronouncing your name right? It's Lorna, right? Yes. Um, okay. So, uh, it's mentioned about you. We'll talk about the digital lifting. Can you uh, introduce that a little bit? Uh, I'm not sure, aware of sure, sure. sure, 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 sure. So, like, uh, first of all, uh, I will give you the entire idea. Like, as much as I know, you are a real estate uh, retailer, right? Can you give me a little bit brief about your business from your point of view? Then I will explain you how my services can help you. Um, yeah, actually, um, I just started my business two years ago, and uh, it's mainly a, a BC, Greater Vancouver. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so um, uh, during the, <laughs> I think the last year is um, uh, when I started the business, it, it's just picked up a little bit uh, and it turns down to very <laughs> uh, like a recession after the COVID, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, and right now the business is not very good. So your main target audience are whom? Like people who are looking for properties to buy or people who are looking for properties to rent? To whom you do um, you uh, Right now, uh, uh, both, right? Uh, both? Yeah, both. Cool. Okay. So my next thing is like, till now, whatever sales you have made, what was the main source? Like it was like word of mouth or from social media? me uh the sales whichever you have done till now let's like suppose the sale which you have done in this two years okay so what was the main source like it was from the social media how much percent was from the social media and how much percent of sales that you made that was from word of mouth uh most of that is from uh uh from mouth to mouth you know yeah, yeah gotcha so I will tell you like now how I will help you out. Okay. So when I was just going through your Instagram profile, I just found one of the most common, like I just found a lot of loopholes. First thing was consistency. Consistency? Okay. Yeah. Like consistency about being on social media and posting about the stuff. Like for example, the properties and everything which you are having at your end that you can, you know, provide to your customers for the rent and for selling purpose. Okay. First mm -hmm. thing is that. Secondly, why I asked you about do you rent or do you sell? Because I didn't find that very specific over your profile. For example, like I, I visited your profile. Okay, your Instagram page. So I have to be very clear what you do. That I, I am very clear that I, I am looking for a rented place. Then Lauren, uh, Lorna is a place there I can go. Her profile is a place there I can go. But when I just uh, opened your profile, I didn't find that information. Mm -hmm. You got it. So basically, it's all about the content. Build. So first thing that what we're going to be considering and we're going to be focusing is like the content game. What's the content we are putting on? Okay. How much, uh, you know, the idea we are giving to our people or to our audience about our business. Okay. First thing is that. Second thing is what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working on visuals. So the graphics and everything which I saw that you uploaded till now, it was, you know, like quite mundane. We have to go like a little bit advanced when it comes to graphics and when it comes to visuals. And mm -hmm. what I mean by that is like you would be having the clips of your properties, right? The photos or the videos and everything, right? my team will take care of the post processing of all those videos and those photos mm -hmm. okay and not just that along with that whatever the content and copies we would be writing we're gonna be showcasing that all over our social media page with a proper design and proper visuals okay third thing what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be completely going deep into ads social media ads Okay, have you tried social media ads before? Like, have you ran any ads over Meta or Facebook or anything? Uh, yes, but not not that much use. Um, 
Okay, how much did you spend if you are comfortable to share? Mm. Uh, um, right now I focus on the, um, how to say, uh, uh, integrate. No, earlier when you ran the ads, earlier when you ran the ads, if you remember and if you're comfortable, how much did you spend on it? Do you have any uh, idea of the resemblance? How much did you spend? Mm, not that much. Okay, cool. Okay, uh, so cool. Since you don't have the idea, I will explain you the stuff, how things work on that part. What we're going to be doing is, firstly, we're going to be targeting the uh, followers of your competitor straight. For example, Simon is your for, is a follower of your competitor. Okay, I'm going to straight target him. So he's going to start seeing your company ad over his Instagram and Facebook. Okay, first thing is that. Secondly is database targeting. In that, what we're going to be doing is, for example, you have a list of people and you have their email address and phone number. Okay. Our company ad will start getting shown over their feed. For example, you have Simon's email address. You want, you say me, um, and I want to target Simon. Like this is his, its email address. I have like thousands of email address. I want to target them. I can make our company ad get shown on their feed. Okay. Thirdly, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing retargeting and remarketing. And what I mean by that is like whoever is not a follower but have interacted with a post or a graphic who have seen a reel for like two seconds or three seconds who have saved our graphics or anything like that. Okay. And why they did that? Because obviously they were interested in like something about that particular content of ours. So we're going to be retargeting them again and again. And obviously, we, if we're going to be, uh, you would have seen this. For example, you're trying to buy something from any of the shopping site. You start getting seen about that particular ad over all the social media. Have you seen that? Mm. Have you experienced? Like, do you, are you on social media much or like not at all? Uh, yes. <laughs> okay. So when you try to buy something from the social site or you just, for example, you just put some item over the cart. Do you start seeing that particular ad of that particular product over your social media? Have you noticed that? Yeah. Yeah. So that's what we're going to be doing, Lana. Like whoever have visited our website, for example, or whoever have visited our page or whoever, are, you know, liked our picture or anything who is not a follower, we're going to be retargeting them again and again. Mm -hmm. Okay. And fourth, we're going to be going deep, deep marketing. What we do is like, for example, we are targeting people of Vancouver. Okay. So when it comes to our niche, when it comes to our product, let's suppose real estate. So what people are searching over social media, over social engine, Google, Facebook, YouTube, whatever regarding our niche, we're going to targeting all of them. Okay. So why I gave you this much technical knowledge to not confuse you, but to tell you the assurance that within a period of 90 days, I can give you a good results. I have given like, I have worked with 95 of clients in a period of 3.5 years. Okay. And none, like I don't even have a single client in my portfolio who have discon discontinued our work or our services just because they didn't get the result. Okay. So we work at that premium quality. I was just working with one of the client of uh, Canada just to give you the relation, like how you might be feel related. It was a coach, okay, and they were having a ticket size of like thousand dot Canadian dollar and something like that. And obviously, for personal training, people don't spend that particular amount. Still, in a ad budget of like uh, fifty or seventy dollars, like he gave me an ad budget of two hundred dollars, but in still fifty to seventy dollars, I have generated him eight of the leads. Okay, so that's just giving an idea. He what the wonders we can do when it comes to working on any of the projects. Okay. And not just this, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be focusing on organic marketing and paid marketing both. And what I mean by organic marketing is there's a human sitting in my end going to go and interact with the followers of the competitors. So how it's going to interact, for example, Simon is the follower of a competitor. A human sitting on my end going to go and use a profile to give Simon a follow or like his picture. So what's going to happen? Obviously, out of curiosity, you want to open your profile and see what it is. Okay. And once he see what it is, if he likes the content and everything, obviously, he's going to follow. 
and today is a follower tomorrow is a customer right so basically i gonna automate your entire social media journey you don't have to do anything you just have to share the photos and videos and all that rest of the entire thing will be taken care by us and like everything will be like post approval for example we are sending you a pdf of content you will receive it in the group once you gonna approve it then only we gonna proceed further for the design for example you didn't like any hey, of the Lorna, content you want Lorna, do you do you understand everything that Aman is yeah. okay yeah i'm uh, i'm listening yeah so for example you will uh, for example uh, for the content you receive the entire pdf of the content in the group for example, uh, out of that you didn't like any of the content just drop a text my content team gonna work on the content and they will give you the revised one then the designer gonna start working on the designs then again after designing you will receive the content to approve once you gonna approve it then only we gonna proceed further for the posting so basically i will automate your entire journey lorna if you could be just patient with us for 90 days i can do wonders with your business that's for sure um, and like why i'm giving you this much confidence is because we are okay we work with a very selective sort of clients okay we have limited slots basically like if uh, i don't work in a way that i will just take you know 50 of the clients and start working along with them uh i just wondering uh you mentioned about the fee charge uh how does it charge per you mean the proposal uh charging by proposed no like uh, how we charge is like we are completely different from other of the marketers and the agencies out there okay i do understand i own a business i run many of the businesses and i do understand everything is all about the budgeting and when it comes to marketing it's completely about budgeting okay for example i just going to come and propose to you that uh, lord i going to charge you 5000 usd per month let's suppose okay and you are having a budget of 1000 usd we want be having a further conversation right and i don't want to do that so for first 90 days okay i going to ask you about the budget now on that particular budget we're going to be working for first 90 days once i going to show you the result once i going to show you that okay this is the thing we can do then i going to come uh, after that 90 days and talk about further budget like see we have crossed phase 1 let's move to phase 2 and now what's the budget you think you can put because obviously once you're going to start seeing the result you will willing to pay more right oh i see so it depends how does it uh how how is the results um in within the 90 days and then you will discuss the charge for for the future no like for for yeah for the future we will discuss post that for the start 90 days give me a budget like how much money you can you know you are willing to spend every month for the starting 3 months okay and at that very particular amount i will create a entire plan up like what we can do and everything the services and the deliverables how many posts how many videos what all i can include mm -hmm. okay and post that once i going to show you the result in 90 days i will come in front and talk to her, you about the budget oh i see so it's not a fixed plan uh, a fixed plan for for the fee yeah exactly lorna we don't come with that i don't want to you know put my price tag over your face Oh, I see. I want to collaborate. I don't. I don't want you to hire me as a vendor. I want to collaborate and work. And uh, also, I'm wondering. Uh, so you do this on uh, mainly on Facebook, right? Yeah, we will be working on Facebook and Instagram both. Mm -hmm. And see, everything will be just through the automation for you. You just have to drop a text. I'll be just a text and call away. My entire team will be just as the same. Okay, oh. so once we are working and everything, you didn't like anything you want. Like on a regular interval, you will start receiving a feedback form. Okay, so we will be asking for your feedback. Do you want any changes in the current services? Do you want the things to be get done? We will take care of that. Uh mm huh. -hmm. Uh yeah. For now, I'm. Uh, I think I'm not interested in. Uh, in the uh, putting ads on Facebook yet. So, yeah. Uh, how about yeah? In the future, uh, if I'm interested, uh, and how can I contact? Can I do it? Uh, contact some just uh on Facebook. Some any. Okay, so like you are not willing to spend on Facebook and all that, right? Yeah. Now? Yes. Yes. 
Okay, can I know the specific reason? I do understand it, uh, and obviously I um, respect your decision, but I would like to know the reason behind you are not opting for that particular thing. Uh, yeah, right now because uh, most of my business are uh, are working uh with the buyers, and um, mm-hmm. uh, not to uh, not too many listings. So mm-hmm. uh, for the seller. Like, uh, I will tell you, like, if you are confused with we we gonna be posting about your business over the marketplace, this is not. Okay, uh, I will tell you, like, not to not to get confused. We gonna be running straight ads for you. We gonna be gonna you know, uh, posting about your product or over your properties over the marketplace. Mm-hmm. Okay, so just not to make you confused. We gonna be working straight on uh, like the ad stuff. Yeah. So uh, if I don't have to, um, uh, if like uh, if I want to put put the ads and spend money on, um, I think I need to have uh, more listings uh, that I can spend uh, uh, spend money on uh, advertising. For yeah, their... that's that's the thing. That's the thing because, like, when it comes to Facebook ads and all that, <clears throat> you should have a proper because you know people out there on social media have a lot of options. Okay, but if you won't be having a much of the listing and you know a proper budget to work on that, so that one gonna give us a desired result. Okay, so for uh, for instance, like right now you'll be having a budget of like let's take thousand USD. Okay, so I'm just giving an example. Or might be you'd be having three to four listing over your social media or like over the properties. So we have to make sure because, like, I will tell you, like, almost of the retailers or the agencies and the real estate people with I have came across, they are doing wonders with social media. Social media is being one of the most prominent result making sales machine for them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Hey Luna, what's your what's your currently what's um what's your currently monthly budget? Like um, because we we've talked we've given a few strategies, but if we if you give us like a like a concrete number of what you're comfortable spending per month, we can narrow in on that, and uh, we can give you like like the next five minutes give you a specific plan oriented around that. Do you have like a monthly budget right now? Um, not right now. I just uh. Yeah, I just want wondering how does this work first, and then uh, maybe in the future uh, I will co- uh, I will consider it. But um, but right now uh, mm-hmm. when I listen to the consultancy about the uh, how does it work, and uh, I think uh, I won't spend uh, the money on it for, uh, for now. Cool. No, no worries, Lana. I'm just giving you some of the tips and the ideas that I will ask you to implement over your social media and other of the handles. So that will, you know, be a good touch. First of all, like when I was just going through social media, first thing was the consistency, as I said. And what I mean by the consistency is post on a regular basis. Mm-hmm. Okay. Secondly, start posting about your properties more. What I mean by that is like the, the uh, you know, for example, you have four of the, or five of the, of the properties in your list start posting about that and try to create if you are comfortable to create reels in person you know for example you standing and explaining about the property and all that if you're comfortable with that start doing that so this will give you a result at the very you know might be in two months or three months might be in a month okay if you are just handling the everything by your hand mm-hmm. okay and once you start doing it we are just a uh, text away Okay, because I will be very honest and frank with you, Lana. I don't want, and I don't, uh, I will be very honest. I don't work with the people, okay, when uh, they have multiple of the things. What I mean by that is, for example, right now you put 1000 USD, let's suppose, in the marketing. Okay, and but you would be having a pressure over your head and over pressure over your head that, yeah, I want result in the very first month or I want result in the very second. Because the thing happen if you have a limited budget, then these things obviously strike our mind. 
okay but it's all about the thing is because i don't want you to go in it just because like you want to just explore and all that we are damn sure that we're gonna be giving you a result but not until you are sure about it mm-hmm. you got that right gotcha uh yeah so uh yeah uh i'm uh honestly um i i don't have any budget for that way now so um so when should i get back to you tell me that i uh, because i like your vibe and i would love to work along with you so i want to know when should i get back to you so that we can start working mm-hmm. what, what is your name specific cons- what do you say what is your main concern like um because i know you have to like if, if you pay pay a certain amount for a lead you have to um then close it yourself to make a profit right mm-hmm. um is uh is is in your, in your sales um process right now is it more um the uh is it more the the sales sales on your side or is it like with in-person sales on your end or is it more like the digital marketing that's the bottom line for uh right now i think uh for the property sell uh for for the business and uh, real estate i think mainly the charge is based on the in person uh not to uh not 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 online oh, no, it's not digital things uh, mainly built on the charge is between person and person so uh um mostly i cannot get any uh any referral just through the social media you know okay. i'll tell you one thing Lana. yeah some it's some people amazing. some people they want to buy uh buy a property uh they they have to uh find a person uh very trust uh with very uh know well known who who you are and uh just like a friend to friends and they won't buy they won't so, they like, won't find a stranger realtor to to get a property for, for so them. i, I exactly. totally get it that's that's how yeah go ahead, yeah, go ahead. okay so like the, the thing which you said about you know like the credibility and all that lana it happens i will tell you it happens so there's a guy like i i usually like not into much into the instagram and all that okay so but i usually get a lot of reels over my feed related to real estate people okay so i have seen some of the guys what they're doing is like they're just going to their property and talking about it and i will tell you i got i don't know that particular person at all okay where he is in like different corner of the world or something but i got so interested like if i want to just send you the screenshot of my saved corner over my instagram out of every 10 reel you want to find one or two of the real estate reels and might be that could be of that person and why because the way they showed it up the way they have built their brand i already got the trust okay so that's what i was talking about the power of social media so it happens in that way lorna how much uh, you know credibility and trust you want to be building over social media that much business you want to start getting for example we worked for on it for 90 days okay we created let's suppose the credibility which you have over the social media right now let's suppose it's one person we took it to 20 percent the rate of needs would be completely different mm-hmm. yeah uh if i don't want to if uh if i don't have plan to put on uh any budget on it um uh, currently, uh, and uh, I, I don't want to waste the time and uh, you be relaxed, Lorna. Be relaxed. I am not just here to do the business. As I said, I just gave you some of the ideas what you should do. So yeah. you don't have to be worry, worrying about that, that you are wasting your time. It isn't. I love talking to people and understanding their business and their pain points. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay, so yeah. no worries with that. Tell me when should I get back to you? Like by the end of the Feb or by the mid of the Feb, tell me the time. I will get back to you for sure because mm-hmm. I would love to work with you. Okay, yeah. And anyway, I'm thank uh, thank you for um, uh, for your consultancy today and mm-hmm. uh, learn about. Uh, hey, how Luna, how about how about this? Um, I will 
you know, we totally understand there's no budget for marketing. I get that. Um, let's, I'll contact you back in maybe three weeks, just like a quick, like 10 minute call, see where things at. And then, um, aside from, uh, this is just not, this is not to do with the mod. I want to just learn more about how, where the bottlenecks for realtors is. I will, I'll just do like a quick 10 minute follow, follow call in three weeks. Does that sound good to you? Mm-hmm. So yeah. let's, let's keep it at that. No worries. You don't have to, you don't have to go through with anything today. I want to follow with you. So I just want to see it like three weeks talk again see, and see, okay. see uh, if, if there's anything I can do for you and um, okay. let's leave it at that. Okay. So do you have a current realtor clients for, uh, I don't, I don't believe we do. We, we worked with a few Canadian clients. We are, um, uh, working with realtors was my idea. I wanted to, to specialize in uh, realtors. So I've been, uh, outreaching to realtors in, in my region in uh, BC and DC and, uh, Washington. Um, and uh, I, I want because I, I understand that digital marketing is one aspect of the marketing plan. It's not the complete. It's maybe like 30 to maybe 45 percent of the marketing plan of the whole business plan of a realtor. So mm -hmm. um, I want to learn more about where your bottlenecks are in terms of mm -hmm. transferring leads, converting leads. Yeah, into I know. I come uh, I came across the Facebook and uh, sometimes the, um, uh, they boost uh, the apps. Uh, the listings uh, to the front. I think is it that that kind of service you you do for the client. So basically, what they do is like the what the thing which you're talking about, Lana. No? So they just post about that particular, for example, a property in the marketplace. Okay. okay. So we won't be doing that. For example, we have a property. We're gonna be posting about that over your social media. For example, Instagram and Facebook. Like you maintain your Instagram page, right? We have this property available. We're gonna post about that. We're gonna be running the ads so that people can reach to you or you know reach you out straight to your WhatsApp. Okay, I just saw that particular property. I wanna know about know more about it. So something like that. Um. Yeah. Uh, I I think I suggest you to uh focus on your clients for developers because they have a lot of listing. They uh they po they they need to advertise their properties. That, uh, they yeah, yeah. Okay, listen me one thing, Lorna. Listen, me, listen me a one lot thing. of money on it. Listen me one thing. No worries. I completely understand and respect your decisions and everything. Uh, take my number from Simon. Okay. Or I will like send you over the mail. I have your mail. Okay. That will be my WhatsApp number. And feel free to reach me out any of the time. Like for example, you're working on the social media and you want any help or something like that. Feel free to reach me out. Okay. Yeah. No problem. Okay. Uh, if any of the help on anything would be needing, just feel free to reach me out. I will give you the ideas and everything. And once we would be having a good budget and something like that, we would start working. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Fine. Thank good you. For you. Thank you for thank you for your time today. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's a pleasure talking to you. And if we would be have been working together, it would be like I would have loved working to you. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. No. 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 No worries. Cool. Cool. Good. Thanks for your time, Lana. Thank you, yeah, Lana. Thank you. Goodbye. Have a good time. Have yeah, a good yeah, day. Yeah. Bye-bye. Yeah.